Hey everyone, this is going to be a comparatively quick video because here we won't do too much of JavaScript. In fact, we might not do any JavaScript at all. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, the thing is here we want to try to fix this look. You know, in the last video, uh, we implemented the search functionality and this is how it started to look, which did not quite look really good. And I want to fix this. I want to fix this so badly. And also, you know, this was an anchor and we want to make this look like a button. So we're going to do that in this video. So first of all, what I'm thinking is maybe instead of justify center, what if we just leave it? What if we just leave it and let it be at justify default? So I'm going to remove this one. Sorry, this was justify space between and we're going to just leave it into the default one. How does it look? Uh, it gets stuck. Everything is stuck. So maybe I want to give us some gap. I want to give some gap of about one RDM. Not that much, not that less. Looks better, looks way, way more clean. Um, the more info I want on the right side. So I'm quickly going to give um, margin left of auto. Margin left of auto. Also, I'm going to change this from button to an anchor tag, obviously, because we are not using anchor tag. And it will look to look pretty good now at this point. Here we are. Comparatively looks really decent. Um, between 9 and 10, you know, it's a little margin thing. So maybe um, in my JavaScript, maybe I'm going to do one thing. I'm just going to check if index is less than 10. I will just append some NBSP, non breaking sp space point, remember? NBSP, entities, NBSP, just append some entities so that it looks looks pretty good. And I'm going to append, so index is equal to index dot index plus and this. Let's check now. And now this looks better. This looks now, you know, genial. Yeah, this might be because of the image issue. I don't want to, you know, get into depth with that, but everything looks pretty straightforward, pretty aligned in terms of the left margin. No, this would be the right margin. No, this would be the left margin, the left margin. Um, coming to this button. Yeah, this looks, this still looks like an anchor. So I'm going to quickly fix that in my CSS. So first of all, I'm going to remove the text uh, decoration, make it none so that that underline is gone. Secondly, I want to change the color to black. So that goes hash zero 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 zero. Okay, let's check now. Now it looks like a button, behaves like a button, but it's still sticking at the top. So I want a little bit of margin, which uh, sorry, a little bit of padding, padding because you want space inside, which we already have done here, but zero pixels. So I'm going to change it to about 0 0.25 volume. And now this looks way, way, way better. I mean, compare it, just, just go back to this video and compare it to how it was looking initially. And this looks much more cleaner. And hardly how much time did it took us? Hardly five minutes? I bet less than that. This video is not even five minutes long. And it looks way cleaner. So here we go. More info, more info will work. We will do that JavaScript in the next video. For this, just search for Bitcoin and that would be this. So, see, so clean, so good. Okay, so that's it for this video and see you in the next one.